Welcome to 6-Minute Hump Day, where we help entrepreneurs get through their busy week with a dash of inspiration, motivation, and a touch of education. Welcome to episode number 58 of the Jeff Nozine Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Lopes. This week's 6-Minute Hump Day is going to be a little different. What we actually did was take a clip out of our future podcast, which will air this coming Monday with our guest, Shamal. Shamal had so many amazing stories, so I thought for this week's Six Minute Hum Day, I would just take one of his great little lessons and slap it into our Six Minute Hum Day. Everybody sit back, take your notepads out, great little lesson, enjoy. I just wrote a book on balance, and I was saying, you know, the one mistake I realized that people make is that they confuse balance with symmetry, okay, you know? They, when you ask them balance, they think balance is equal and opposite. Things need to be perfectly symmetrical. If you ask them an image of balance, they think of a weighing scale or a seesaw or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. And you know, in doing research, I peeled away the layers of balance in cosmology, neurobiology, astrology, physiology, biology, uh, all of this. And I realized a few things. I realized that balance in its natural form is asymmetrical and not symmetrical. Okay. You know, if you look at the best example, you look at the golden ratio, which is how pl- plants open, how nature evolves, how everything opens up in some shape and form. It operates in accordance to what's called the golden ratio. No part of the golden ratio is symmetrical. It's purely asymmetrical, but it's a perfect representation of balance. The second thing is uh, balance is fluid and dynamic, like you said, you know, and you've got to approach it as dynamic and fluid. The one thing we confuse is we confuse uh, it with static. We think balance needs to be static. We think it's a destination. We're going to arrive and then we're going to be okay. The balance that you have today may not be the perfect balance for tomorrow. And you need to understand and approach that. And the third thing I realized, and this is very important, was that I realized that the most important aspect of balance is actually the fulcrum, the middle point on which something is balancing. Right. You see, and how... I said, if I give you a square cube, a block of cube, and ask you to balance something on top, anyone can do that. If I give you a nail and you stick it into the ground and ask you to balance something with a little bit more difficulty, you probably get it right. If I give you a small water balloon, okay, and I ask you to balance something, it becomes extremely difficult. And the only thing that's changed in these three examples is the integrity of the fulcrum, the central point. And in your life, in anyone's life, people have to realize that you are the fulcrum. And your integrity is directly linked to you answering the question, who am I? So I asked people this question. I said, if you had to answer the question, who am I? Without telling me your name or your surname, your age, your sex, your gender, which city you live in, what work you do, how much money you have in the bank, who your wife is, what title you have in your company, without telling me any of this, can you even answer this question of who am I? I said, if you can peel away those layers with answering this without the titles that the world has given you, right? That is defining your integrity. And if your integrity is intact, you, you your probability is super high. And what I realized in our conversation with you is that my balance model has four verticals. It has body, mind, relationships, and environment. Okay. And body is your vehicle. So if your vehicle is strong, you've given yourself more time to achieve your goals. Your mind is the strength of your mind, the stronger your mind is, the more you're able to remove distractions from your sight and stay focused. Okay. Your relationships are the five people around you. You are a byproduct of them. Your environment is where you work, where you sleep, where you play, right? That's your environment. Your environment is directly impacting you. Like I spoke about the Tanjali's Yoga Sutras. And what I realized about balance is that every single person on earth is aspirational. Like entrepreneurs want to achieve success, different people want to achieve it. Some want to run a marathon. They want to push their body out. Some people want to push their work so their environment vertical is going out. Some people want to get married and fall in love, and they want to push the dynamics of that relationship out. The secret is to know where you're anchored, right? You see, if you want to get out of your comfort zone, growth only happens in outside of comfort zone. And balance is a representation of your midpoint. Now, I give people the example. I said, if something is out of your reach and you want to get it, there are only two ways to get it. One is to jump and leap and hope that you grab it. That's your leap of faith. And most likely, yeah. nine or 10 times, you won't grab it. Okay. The second way is you have a rope or you have a string or you have a friend of someone holding you. And then you inch your way a little bit closer to it. And then you grab it when you get closer, right? 
The second is representation of what is called that anchoring stable point, being stably anchored in one so you can push yourself out the other way. And the reason why I'm mentioning and going through the trouble of saying all of this is because I realized that everything that you've achieved in your life, my friend, in terms of your business, in terms of doing everything, right? What is very clear to me is that your relationship vertical with your kids, with your parents, with your wife is your strongest anchoring point. And as long as that is anchored into the ground, you'll be able to push yourself out of your comfort zone in whichever shape and form you want to, whether it's running a marathon, whether it's strengthening the mind, whether it's uh, opening another 10 businesses and helping it grow, whether it's making more podcasts, because why? You're anchored in one space. And people don't know who they are. And they don't know where their anchor is. And without these two points answered, you're going to be like a leaf in a... So if there's anything anyone would invest in, I would invest in asking them to define who you are. Because only when you know who you are, are you giving yourself enough of a chance to bring your life actually into balance. I love that. I love that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that on you now. Who are you? Who am I? You know, I'm, I'm defined by... A few things. You know, I have a saying, which I live by. One is be as humble as a blade of grass and be more tolerant than a tree. Okay. Humble as a blade of grass means I don't look down on anyone, right? I try not, I try, I force myself to not look down. A blade of grass is really, really low. So you're always looking up at people. You're not looking down on anyone, right? Uh, So that's one. The second is be more tolerant than a tree. Understand that a tree will stand there through every single variable. It's hot, it's raining, there's a storm, there's a cyclone, it's standing there, right? That's his job. So be humble, stand true to what you believe in, right? No matter what you get thrown at, stand true to what you believe in. And the last one is always see yourself in the mode of service. Understand, be grateful for the person who comes to you in the hour of need, because even that is a blessing. You know, you can have all the money in the world, okay? but it's use, you cannot help someone if someone doesn't need it. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So the person who's in need, the person who is in need is as big a blessing as the wealth that you have. And you have to see it like that. So who am I? I am someone who's aspiring to be humble. I, I see myself as a servant of the God someone who's humble and someone who's aspiring to be as tolerant as a tree. I, I, I love that. That's a wrap, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip of defining who you are and trying to find balance in your life. Shamal is a great guest. I had to use this little clip. You're going to hear the full episode next week. It's going to be a great episode. If you guys enjoy this little clip as much as I did, please tell your friends, tell your family, spread the word. We're trying to build something special here. Leave a review. Five stars would be absolutely amazing. Until next week, guys, keep moving forward.